Welcome to the Henkel booth here at IPC Apex. I'm joined by Art Ackerman, who is the uh, global product manager for the uh, adhesives and uh, circuit board uh, protecting, protection materials, correct? That's right. Okay. Uh, so, Art, we want to talk to you about a couple of new things. Uh, the first of which is a product that you've had around for quite some time uh, as, uh, as an encapsulant, uh, but you've now brought out another version of it that is uh, conductive. Uh, it's on the Thermomelt uh, family of materials. Can you tell us a bit about it? Sure, so Technomelt is a series of low pressure moldable resins used to encapsulate in sensitive electronics. It seals and encapsulates fully to making them watertight and protects them from the environment. Um, it's thermally insulating though, so it doesn't transfer heat through the material itself. So what we've done is we've developed a material that actually does transfer heat through the encapsulating layer. We've introduced a filler into the system to bring some thermal conductivity into the mix. And what that gets us is the ability to transfer heat through the molded material on the electronics itself. So as electronics get smaller uh, and the geometries get smaller, you get more heat in these areas. It's obviously useful to have something that can extract or evacuate that heat instead of a big heat sink. Um, so can you give us a couple of examples where you might use this? Sure, so on the electronics level, traditionally the heat from a chip is pulled through the board to the back of the board to dissipate that way. In this case, we want to get the heat out of the board and out of that component as fast as possible. So industries like LED and lighting, where they have drivers to power their electronics themselves, they must operate at higher and higher powers to support the larger format LED lighting. Uh, when that happens, their goal is to get more heat out as fast as possible. So integrating a solution like this, making it thermally conductive, in the encapsulating layer, instead of having to manage heat through secondary or third processes and applications, um, is a unique feature that we're trying to offer to the market now. That's great. Now, typically behind a lot of these driver boards for LEDs, you see a, a huge bank of um, uh, fins of, of uh, uh, heat, heat sinks. Uh, so is this going to replace them with maybe a, a thinner form factor? So we're looking at it as an integrated solution where the technology itself can be designed in to help manage your thermal uh, problems in your or in the actual application itself. So uh, do, do you have a, you have an example here I believe um, it's maybe not powered up right now um, but uh, you have an example here of, of different materials can you tell us what's happening here? Sir sure. this is a PTC heater that we engineered with Hinkle materials so it's a silver conductive ink with a carbon um, ink resistor element in it. This is basically a PTC heater element um, so when plugged in this whole uh, assembly heats up. All of these resistive elements have a heat capacity that um, emits through them. Okay. So what we've done actually is we've molded one of these with the traditional technomel material mm -hmm. and also a set with the thermally conductive technomel material. Mm -hmm. When you plug them in and then you look under IR, what you end up seeing is the thermally conductive material spreads the heat uniformly across uh, the device itself. Yep. Whereas the non-conductive material, the heat is concentrated right at that uh, resistive element. So this is showing fundamentally how it's dissipating the heat away from that actual element that's uh, or generating the heat out to the environment in a uniform fashion. So um, I also want to look while we're here at another material you've got, which is I think coming out more or less the same stable, but used for a completely different application, uh, and that's for masking, especially for conformal coatings. Can you explain that material to us? Sure. Well, so we call it a peelable mask. It's a thermal plastic resin system that's highly dispensable. So it can be used in any kind of a configuration in electronics where they're trying to mask a certain region and typically have to use a tape or something like that. So in this case, the material can be dispensed, cools very quickly, and can then go through the conformal coating process. Now, the unique feature of the material is it's highly peelable afterwards. So instead of having to spend a lot of time, labor, and energy to get that tape off after your conformal coating process, this material can be peeled off by hand very easily. So you have a, a couple of examples of it over here. Um, so uh, let's have a look. Uh, first of all, we've got the dispensing side of it. Uh, uh, it's very easily dispensable on this um, dispenser. So you can either use it to do masking and damming, or you can actually build up a whole uh, area coverage. By whatever your actual drawing demands or whatever you need to protect, you can. Uh, tailor the uh, dispense application itself to meet that requirement. So in this case we're dispensing some very simple squares over some copper traces on a circuit board. Um, at, as soon as the material is down, it's tack free already. So the cool time is very, very short. It's already uh, ready to be handled as soon as it's uh, completed with its cycle of dispensing. 
Excellent. So uh, you've got a couple of samples here that have been uh, previously done. So maybe you can demonstrate how easy it is to, uh, to peel it off. Sure. Well, the material down, the typical um, labor and burden after the fact is trying to get the tape itself off. In this case, the material can be easily peeled just by hand and leaves a very clean surface with no residual contamination. Um, I want to uh, say thank you very much. I mean, you've got a couple more examples here uh, showing uh, where it was uh, covered using your, your uh, material and one without. So uh, can you show us an example of that under a UV light? Yeah. So in these conformal coatings, we have a UV tracer put in. So typically what's, what's done is after the material is cured, uh, it goes through an inspection step. And just using a typical UV light, the material fluoresces. So you can see where the conformal coating is and where the conformal coating isn't. In this case, those regions where the conformal coating is not was where the material was, or the board was masked previously. Okay. And as you can also see, again, there's no residual contamination left from the pupil mask material itself. Well, Art, thank you very much for giving us a walkthrough on these new uh, thermal, uh, thermal plastic materials. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing them coming out into the field in the near future. Great. Thank you very much for your time.